there's another way that we can celebrate Thanksgiving, and I want to share that with you today. Hi, and welcome to Encouraging Word. I'm Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, and this is a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. So glad you've joined us today. I trust you had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, we have so much to be grateful for, so many friends and family, and just so many blessings that God has given to us. In fact, the Bible says that we have been blessed in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. And of course, one of our challenges uh, is to bring the uh, things that are in the heavenly realms into this, our earthly realm, and and we seek to do that. And of course, one of the ways we do that is by giving thanks. Uh, the Bible says that in Christ, we live and move and have our being. And so taking time to express our gratitude and thankful hearts is really important in recognizing the goodness of God in our lives and bringing his blessing into our lives in an even greater fashion. But there's another way to express our gratitude. I heard it years ago, and it was very simple. It's always stuck in my mind. You just change the G in the word giving to an L and make it thanks living living out our thanks and great gratitude is a significant part of who we are as believers we can express our gratitude not just with our words and not with just giving thanks but with our lives living it out and of course one of the best ways of doing that would certainly include our generosity uh, the bible says that god loves cheerful givers and Jesus said, give and it'll be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will men give to you. Uh, another way that we can learn to live out our thanks living would be by our kindness. The Bible says that we should be kind to one another. Uh, I just found a web page uh, titled God's Secret Service Agents and their mission. They have it uh on the front page of, of their, uh, their, their web page there says that they are to conduct secret, random, and planned acts of kindness to help restore people's faith in God and humanity. You can check it out if you like, God's secret service agents. In Luke chapter 6 and verse 30, Jesus said, Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Wow. And of course, in Matthew 7, as part of the Sermon on the Mount, closing up the closing passage of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says in verse 12, So in everything do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. People call this the golden rule. Uh, living a life of thanksgiving involves treating others the way we want to be treated doing to others the way we would have people do to us. You know, Thanksgiving, the day, is over, and we move on to the next holiday, it seems. But for us as followers of Jesus, we must learn to live out our thanks living on a regular basis, on a daily basis. The psalmist says in Psalm 34, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. And one of the ways we do that not only is with our voice and with our words, but it's by how we live. And I believe gratitude is an important sign of mental health. And I believe it's an ingredient on the road to mental health. Um, if we can never see the good in life, it's, if it's always black and dark and, and we can't control our thoughts and everything is negative, we may need to seek help. We may need to see a doctor, see a counselor, see a mental health specialist. We may need to get help. But when we can see and think clearly enough to give thanks to the Lord for something in our lives, we are taking a step towards wholeness. And that's what God's desire is for all of us. So I pray God's best for you today on your journey of thanks living. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for all the good things that you've provided for us in heavenly realms. And I pray you'd help us, Lord, as we bring those things into our earthly realms. We are so blessed 
as people. We want to live lives of generosity. We want to live lives of kindness, God. We, we want to represent you well. And God, we thank you for that. Lord, I pray today for those people who are struggling perhaps to see the goodness in life. I pray, oh God, that you'll bring healing into their heart and into their mind, into their thinking, into their body. Lord, help them to see the goodness of the Lord. I pray, oh God, today for those who uh, are just overwhelmed with your goodness and overwhelmed with, with the many good things you've done in their lives. I pray blessing upon them. And I pray, God, you'll help us to live a life of thanks living, sharing your goodness and your joy with other people. So I pray your blessing on your people today. May we know your presence and your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch this. Uh, God willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. God bless. Have a great day.